Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know back in Mumbai and this is actually the second day of Diwali. Uh, we wanted to go shopping and uh, make sure that we celebrated to the best of our ability. But the coolest thing about this day is this is a market in which I do some shopping along with my sous chef BJ over here and we're gonna make a really great meal at the uh, apartment that we rented um so ishan is shopping for some stuff and bj and i are shopping and we decided we wanted to go into this without knowing what we were going to cook a lot of times as a chef i let the ingredients tell me rather than me try to force a dish and so we wanted to explore all that this market could be and uh, i gotta tell you it was an amazing time um the moments we shared here with my broken hindi like you'll see right here uh, Amla? Uh, chota, chota. Nope. Perfect, perfect. All good? Yeah. One seven. So I study Hindi and uh, try to speak it as much as I can, especially in, in in this area. But of course, there's so many other languages that are spoken across India. And many of these people spoke Marathi or some other languages. And so I'm doing my best to communicate throughout the course of this. Um, going into the fish markets is overwhelming and exciting and fun to see such fresh quality too. I mean, this stuff was caught just hours ago. It was really amazing, uh, like this interaction here. Now you can talk I love how the cats are just like hurtling around everywhere. And then there's just a million eyes on you at every point, <laughs> rightfully so. But this is beautiful. One of the things about India that I really try to get across um, that I learned is a lot of people will stare at you. And in the beginning, they won't smile, they won't do anything, but the minute you smile, the smile that creeps over their face is just the most beautiful thing. They, so many people have such a wonderful smile, but you need to go out of your way a little bit and, and let them know that you're there and you're friendly and you want to engage and talk. And once you do, it's the best trip. So he's breaking down chickens and his knife skills are incredible. Like coming from the West, like we're good, that's... Like, perfect. Those bones are coming out clean. That's incredible knife skill right there. That's amazing. The talent that a lot of these purveyors have is just unparalleled. That gentleman that you saw breaking down chickens, it was truly an honor to just watch him. He was scraping those bones and there was nothing left. That is an art form. I mean, I have pretty decent knife skills, but nothing in comparison to what that guy is doing over and over again every day. And the people who wanted to showcase the products that they have here, their willingness to just take on a foreigner and see that I had this sense of wonder in my eyes, they wanted to share part of their life. And believe me, this is not moments that you take for granted. Uh, we stumbled upon Jaffson's. Jaffson's is this masala shop that was located in the shopping complex. And I got to say, this was one of my favorite moments of my entire trip. We probably spent at least an hour there going over things. I bought so much stuff. Jaffson is just, it, it's an incredible experience to be there with somebody who's a generational spice blender. Uh, the stuff that he had to smell and try, he really rolled out the red carpet when it comes to hospitality, and it was such a great time. Um, him, he's just super friendly, wonderful, but like all of this is handmade, and you get like everyone has a different blend. This is all typical Muslim dishes. I can't even explain how incredible that moment was for me. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. I you keep. You okay. keep. Yeah. Sundar. Oh, that's so good. 
What are you having? So, having one of my favorite dishes in all of India, Halim. Halim is just incredible. It is the brista on top of it. Everything about the dish is so perfect. Now you ate just now. Yeah. Mutton Halim. Oh, Mutton Halim is so good. After the Halim, we had to head back to the apartment. And uh, with all of the stuff that we bought, we wanted to make a meal that would be typical for us. And so obviously, Ishan living in Mumbai, that meal is going to look very different than the meal that I would make. One of the things I found here was these strawberries that you see on screen right now. And... Uh, to have a strawberry that is this beautiful is a really rare experience for me. So I'm from New England in the USA, and strawberry season here starts right about Father's Day in June. And typically, I don't eat strawberries until June. And so when I do, I make a strawberry chutney that I love almost every year. And the strawberries we get at the farms where I, I come from are really delicious and beautiful. But these ones, I was amazed by the quality. So I wanted to share that wonderful chutney that I make every year with Ishan and our friend Bali, who is doing camera work with us as well. And obviously my sous chef, BJ. Um, Ishan is marinating these beautiful mackerel here with um, a traditional flavor and profile that he grew up with. See, to hear Ishan's background, is really an amazing thing. There were so many, so many wonderful dishes that he explained that his father would make. And when you guys finally see the interview that I'm going to be releasing with Ishan, you'll understand a lot more of his background and how it was really just an incredible moment for us to cook together. Now, one of the things that you might not know is Ishan and I have known each other for about three to four years. And we always talked about this moment, being in India together and cooking over just a classic Indian stove, making things that we loved. So this moment you're watching is four years in the making. And for us, well, it was everything we wanted. Uh, I decided I wanted to make not only that beautiful strawberry chutney, but I also wanted to make a simple aloo sabji, um, something very simple. Of course, you got to take the selfies while you're doing it. <laughs> um, but we wanted to, I just wanted to make something that was really something that I ate a lot in the States. It was kind of one of those first dishes that really meant a lot to me that I learned how to make. Um, this is the tadka for the strawberries uh, chutney that I'm making. And the aroma was wonderful because when you get spices of this quality at this level, Oh my God, man, it is, it, it is such a beautiful blessing. And the, this sizzle of the tarka, oh, it is just whew, that moment, the entire kitchen just bloomed with fragrance. And it was really nice to be able to share that with Ishan. I, um, I, I think that there was a lot that I experienced in India, but from going into people's homes and having this food to being able to cook it in our home. Um, even if it was our home for only a couple of weeks, it was a really beautiful and amazing experience. And I also thought it was great because I wanted to test these flavor profiles and things that I've been doing in the States to see how Ishan reacted. And um, the beautiful thing about Ishan, and there's many, is that he's very, very authentic. And if he likes something, he'll say it. If he doesn't, he, uh, he definitely says that as well. And so he wanted to make a classic amaranth dish. Um, and he's draining those beautiful little shrimp that he almost made a stock with. Um, oh, God, this was rich and delicious. And, you know, the aromas in Desi cuisine. Let's see if Ishan likes it. I love it. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. It's got a lot going on. A little bit of heat. A lot of sweetness, compliment everything else that we're going on. There's lovely acidity to it. When it was finally time to sit down and eat, I think there was a moment of just, we did this. We flew 7,000 miles across the entire world to cook together. And to have this ability was, have this moment was really enriching and amazing for me. I um, was really proud of all of the work that we did and proud that we were able to make this meal together. The other thing is I never once negotiated on price when it came to, to produce there. I feel like you shouldn't do that. You pay the price and everything was super affordable and it was really wonderful. Um, this was an incredible moment in my life.